Sports Report is sponsored by the people-pleasing people at Sarah Auto Park in Akron. Here we go. Here we go, everybody. A uh, very special sports report tonight. The Cleveland Crunch indoor soccer team. They are back, okay? And they're coming up a big win against rival Cincinnati. The Cincinnati Swerve, 15-8, to eight, and they clinch the playoff spot with that victory. So the Major League Indoor Soccer playoffs, they'll play this Saturday against the Chicago Mustang. So we're joined tonight in studio by goalkeeper Mario Musa and owner Luciano Rashido. Welcome, gentlemen. It's good to see that that logo back. It's a, how did you decide as the owner of the team to bring it back? You know, just knowing what it, what it used to mean to the community and what it possibly could still mean um, and bring everybody together and uh, just those old crunch fans and just building up the community like the crunch used to. Yeah. Which was really big. I mean, yeah. it really was big. Mario, I know you're a young man, okay? <laughs> but back when I came to Cleveland in the mid-'80s, okay, the Cleveland Force were the, was the indoor soccer league team here, and they were phenomenal. I, I mean, their star players were just – they were – box office idols, okay? And they would put 20,000 fans into the Richfield Coliseum on a Saturday night there. It was really something. How did you get turned on yourself, you're the goalkeeper, to the indoor game? Uh, I got accustomed to it through a couple of my close friends. Uh, they currently play professionally across the U.S. So it was, um, you know, after high school, once I was looking around to kind of see where I can go play, I uh, made a couple phone calls and, you know, they helped me get a couple tryouts, and it just kind of clicked from there, and I really enjoyed it. It's, you know, it's a fast-paced game and a lot, a lot of action specifically for a goalie, and it's pretty, uh, pretty crazy. So I enjoyed it. It's really fun. So Now, Luciano, were you always a fan of the indoor game? Yeah, definitely. Just growing up, watching the crunch in the forest, going to those camps, playing, um, getting coached by the players. Uh, it was definitely a big thing and um, loved it. All right, tell me about the league right now, okay? There are 12 teams in the league right now with plans to expand up to 16 teams, right? So the league is, is doing pretty well. I mean, when you're talking about expansion, things are going pretty well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's the goal, obviously, as, and, as any team. They want to, you know, put, put you know, people in the stands. And with that, you get, you know, expansion teams. And uh, a lot of people want to get involved. And that's what you see across the board. So we're hoping, you know, as the years go on, that the league gets bigger. Now, I want to talk about fan base, okay? Because there was no doubt whether they were the force or the crunch, the fan base was passionate. They oh, yeah. really were passionate. Obviously, you were a part of the Legion that followed them. Are you finding passion with your fan base, and is it growing? Is it on the grow a lot? Yeah, de definitely. Uh, very passionate fans, and they're just coming out of nowhere every day. So. Right. And it, it's important now to tell the folks where you are playing, okay, because that's going to be important. So tell us where the venue is that you'll be in the playoffs and where you're playing your, your home matches. It's at the Soccer Sportsplex in North Olmstead, Ohio. Okay, so the fans are there. What is the thing that you've enjoyed the most? I mean, you're, you're from the area. You grew up here. Now you're playing for the Cleveland Crunch. What are some of the things that you're enjoying about that? I would say the, the fan engagement. Um, a lot of us, when you know, Luciano first approached the idea, we expected it you know, to, to start slow, but from day one, it was a lot of involvement from the community and you know, just the support has been, it's been amazing. And you know, we understand that every time you know, we step on the field, we have something to, to prove and show for them. And we're thankful that you know, they, get, they get us and we get them. So we're, we're extremely excited to you know, continue that relationship with the community, with the fans, and you know, hope to continue that with them. So. Okay. Um I'm going to throw a couple of names at you. Uh, back in the old days, the heroes were Kai Hoskovy. Um, you know, I mean, he was a tremendous player. Benny Dargle, who is involved here, right? He's our head coach. He's the head coach. He yeah. was a great player here. I mean, Otto Worf was the goalkeeper here. The great Hector Marinaro, I believe, yeah. won it for the Cleveland Crunch when they were playing over at the Wolstein Center over at Cleveland State. So, besides Mario, tell me a little bit about some of your players. We have a very talented roster, you know, made up mostly of Cleveland-born, Cleveland-based guys, um, or just guys that lived here most of their lives. Uh, you know, just to, it'd be tough to name all the names because like everyone's extremely talented. But we do have some guys that are really having great seasons right now. What about this team from Chicago that you'll take on this weekend? Extremely tough. Um, very organized. Uh, they're very coached. You know, to a specific system. Um, you know, and we've had some great battles with them over the years, and um, we're very familiar with the system they play and the players and everything. So 
we know it's not going to be an easy game by any means, so we're definitely excited for it. You know, it really is a great area for the game of soccer, okay? I mean, the youth teams, those, uh, those travel teams, and those elite clubs that they have around the area are a real feeder system that send them off to high school, and there are some really prominent high school programs in the area. And then you take a look at the college program, like the University of Akron has won a national championship through their years, and it's great to see that there is an opportunity, you know, whether it's not in the big leagues of, you know, MIL, MI, you know, the, the uh, major league MLS and over into the Premier League, that they can continue a career and play. And that's, yeah. that's what you're offering, right? Absolutely. And it's right here in their own backyard. So, All right. Tell us the specifics. Saturday night, the crunch against Chicago. What time do we kick it off? 7.30 p.m. 7.30 p.m. There it is against the Chicago Mustangs. If you win, or let me put it this way, when you win, What's the next round? Semifinals. I'm not sure if you want to speak to it, but it's semifinals, I think, uh, the week after, two weeks from now. So we're. Yeah, so we, yeah, advanced right to the semifinals, which would be the following weekend. All right. Hey, guys, good luck. Thanks for coming in. I enjoy seeing you and uh, seeing that, that, that emblem, that logo of the Cleveland Crunch back and relevant here in Cleveland. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks for Appreciate having it, us. Jim. It's good to have you.